wearing this because I'm a survivor like Eddie and Patsy. And oh, hey, hi, Will my finger do here with that finger do review of Abfab the movie. Jorge, drink me. What is this? Pink champagne. Ooh. <laughs> I did not hear you pop a cork. This had better not be from Large Marge at the champagne goodness. Sorry, I doubted you, Jorge. Okay, I need to start this review by saying I am a huge fan of Abfab. Seriously, I worship at a shrine, Om Ching Chang Cho. Even though I thought it stopped being great after season four. No offense to anyone involved, but after season four, it just, it lost its oomph, it lost its irreverence. It was okay, it just wasn't absolutely fabulous. Well, this Abfab movie returns to the greatness that was the first four seasons of Abfab. It is irreverent, it is unnecessary, it is hilarious, and it returns Jennifer Saunders and Joanna Lumley as Eddie and Patsy, who are constantly continuing their pursuit of fame and thinness. Well, for Eddie, anyway. Um, and all this while being broke yet again. Of course, Julia Sawala returns as Safi, her long-suffering daughter, who's constantly trying to fix everything in her mother's destructive way. June Whitfield returns as Mrs. M, but couldn't care less about her daughter's destructive way. And Jane Harks returns as Bubble, who couldn't possibly spell destructive wake. I first of all just noticed that everybody in the core cast of Abfab starts, their first name starts with a J. I'm serious. I'm going to change my name to Jilma because I want to be in the next movie, I just said. Jorge, find me a sparkly J. Also, do you remember that nurse that kept telling Eddie she was too fat? Well, she returned fatter than Eddie, if you ask me. She shouldn't have been telling anyone she was too fat to do anything. I call that hashtag fat karma. You pick on somebody for being fat when you're in your 20s, when you're their age, you'll probably end up with their ass. Not everything needs to be said out loud. Also, who does return? Bo and Marshall. And I still don't understand why. Not that I don't love them and everything, and maybe it was just a nostalgia thing, but they show up with this flimsy storyline of Marshall being transgendered. They drop it on our doorstep like a bag of poop, light it on fire, and spray off. I don't, they never saw them again. We don't know what the hell happened. Why did they do that? I still don't understand. Maybe they have condo payments and Jennifer Saunders is helping them out. This whole film, though, I have to say, is unnecessary. That's why I love it. It's timeless because it's filled with famous people. I don't really know who they are now, which means in 10 years, I'll still not have heard of them. It has no social barometer. It doesn't talk about anything important like global warming or gun control. None of it. It is just about two totally self-absorbed idiots who may or may not have killed a supermodel. And really, in Britain, that's just called Wednesday. It's a fabulous movie and... It's absolutely worth watching. Until next time, miss me! Mwah! Ooh, seriously, Marge, I think champagne's my favorite. Yummy!